Hi and welcome to this uh, Lumpfish Welfare Watcher video tutorial where I will go through this uh, software and if you are a fish farmer, especially in the salmon industry, uh, if you are a vet, if you are a researcher, then this video uh, is definitely for you. So in this video I will um, go through what the Lumpfish Welfare Watcher is, what it does and maybe why you should consider using it. So the Lumpfish Welfare Watcher is a web-based and desktop application which was designed to help farmers access and improve the welfare of lumpfish. The, the key thing is that it's free to use, you just need to uh, access the, uh, the website and then you can actually download the, the software and have it on your computer and you can use it anywhere at any time once you have it in your desktop. So, um, so it's free and above all there is no login required. So what it is, what it, what it is, we've gone through what it is, so what it does, what does the Lumpfish Welfare Watcher does? So basically, uh, it, was, um, it, is, it is based on the Lumpfish Operation Welfare Scoring Index, uh, which was validated at Swansea University, um, with also with fish farmers that, uh, that also validated this tool. Um, and it, uh, it goes through five key indicators that will be scored uh, against the welfare. And these five key indicators are the skin damage, the fin damage, uh, actually the tail fin damage, the eye condition, the sucker uh, deformities, and the relative weight. And the relative weight, or also can also be called body max index, uh, allows you to, to know if the weight of the fish is within the normal expected weight for that life stage. Uh, so as an example, let's look at the tail fin, uh, how, how the score um, um, is done. So the scoring system goes from can be either a zero, a one, or a two. A score one is when these indicators, you know, they show no signs of damage or deformities in the case of the sucker. So as you can clearly see here for the tail fin, uh, you know, this is an intact fin, a tail fin with no splitting of the rays. In this case, for score number one, you can clearly see there is some ray splitting, so there is a moderate damage, so we score it as a one. In this um, case here, there is a severe deformity, uh, almost the, um, the tail fin is almost gone, it's, most of it is missing. Uh, this fish shouldn't be able to, to swim properly, so it's definitely a score 2, uh, which shows a severe deformity. So once you have this, why should you use it? Well, because uh, the Lumpfish uh, Welfare Watcher will allow um, to automatically calculate the body max index, that is the, the relative weight, so it will tell you automatically if the fish are uh, underweight, for instance, or above the normal weight. It will also score the lumpfish welfare, their overall welfare. Are they in a good welfare? Are they just a moderate welfare? Or actually, are, is the welfare of the population of lumpfish you're, you're, you have, are they severely compromised? And based on this, the tool will also automatically uh, suggest quick remedial actions to be taken uh, uh, and to ensure lumpfish are active and healthy. So this is what you can see here. This is the online interface. It's uh, how it looks like. You can see there are three different things. There is a lumpfish e-learning e course uh, that I highly recommend. It's, it's, it's free for you to, to use and to access and has all the information you need to understand a bit more uh, about lumpfish uh, and then you have the BMI calculator. Basically it literally tells you if your lumpfish are within the normal expected weight and then you have a rapid welfare assessment tool which will tell you if the lumpfish are in good welfare, moderately uh, compromised or severely compromised. So you can download um, this uh, this software so in case you don't have uh, internet access you have it on your desktop and when you download it and and you install the program then this is what it looks like so this the interface when you're using it on your desktop it looks like this so now let's have a look at the um, at lumpfish welfare e welfare e training so basically when you access it it will it will bring you a, a course where you have the different sections and you can learn about different, uh, you can learn about the, the, the background of lumpfish, its fisheries, its aquaculture, but then you will also be able to learn uh, how to calculate the BMI and how to use these tools. And also, how do you score the fish? It has a dedicated section just for you to learn and also to test your knowledge on how to score, you know, the, the tail fin, the eye, the skin and the suction disc. So... Uh, going back to, so you have the, the, this is the interface, online interface. If you go to the BMI calculator, 
first, you need to collect specific data. So you need to measure the, the weight of the fish in grams. You need then to, to measure the total length in millimeters. And, and then you just record this data using the spreadsheet um, that you have. It's a specific template that you can download from the, the BMI calculator. Then you record all this. And then the next step is basically to upload the data. And as you can see here, when you upload the data with your fish, you have the data that you introduced uh, to the Excel file, which is the weight and the total length in milliliters. Um, and then you have the expected weight. So this is what the tool calculates, the expected weight, the BMI. For this specific fish here, the BMI is 93. So it is within their normal, normal weight. But the tool also calculates uh, an estimated height, a fineness, which is a, um, an index that I'll go through this in the next video, but also the maximum match size to prevent escapes of lumpfish. Um, so this is basically the the data that it gives you, but also it will give you a summary data. So for the entire population that you've recorded, imagine you're recording 30 fish, so it gives you the overall uh, BMI, in this case it's the mean of those 30 fish, um, which is, they seem to be normal because their BMI was, was above 90%, per, 90%, but within, okay, that is your mean, but your population of 30, 30 fish, actually 23% were underweight. And you also have a summary table here, which will give you, in this case, was the, the total size of fish that were measured. Uh, it gives you the, the BMI, the minimum, the maximum, the mean. So it gives you a general uh, statistics of your population. And then it gives you recommendations. In this case, because uh, 20, over 20% 20 of the fish were underweight, it tells you that they are moderately, there is a moderate cause of concern uh, so there are a few things that we recommend you should be doing in terms of monitoring and um, and maybe some changes that you should do to your to your uh, practice. So this is the BMI in a nutshell. I will show you exactly how to use a tool in the next video. But for now, let's go into the next tool, which is the Rapid Welfare Assessment uh, tool, which will give you the overall lump fish welfare. So basically, you start with the same thing. You record data. Again, the, the weight in grams, the total length in millimeters, and then, of course, you will need to score the fish using the score 0, 1, or 2. Remember, score 0 is when you have no damage, 1 is uh, there is moderate damage, and 2 is severely man damaged. So you will do this for the skin, the fin, the eye, the sucker deformity, and you don't need to, to worry about scoring the relative weight or BMI, because once you introduce this data, the weight and the total length, this tool will automatically calculate the BMI and it will also uh, immediately um, provide a score of 0, 1 or 2 based on the value of that BMI or relative weight. So this is the, you will need then to apply it. This is the template, Excel file template that you'll get from, from the software. This is all the data that you will need to input, the weight, the total length, and then the scores that you have you have um, recorded because you looked at the fish and you checked and actually in this case the skin damage was moderately damaged for this fish but all the other indicators the visual ones that you will need to to measure uh, the tail fin the eye and the suction deformity for this fish it had no deformities no damage and then what the tool will will do it will uh, calculate an overall uh, value that will allow you to know if uh, the lumpfish are in good welfare or very severely compromised. So higher scores represent a better welfare, so a score of 8 to 10 is good welfare and therefore your action plan, your recommendation is keep on doing what you're doing but above all keep on monitoring. But if you have on the lower end, if actually your population is severely compromised and you only have a score of 0 or 4, then definitely you need to have an action plan that may involve consulting your veterinary services or even calling the fish given veterinary advice. But let's have a look. What does this look? So the tool, this is exactly what the tool will tell you. This is the data that you introduced. Um, the weight and the total length, but also the score of the, the damage to, to the skin, to the tail fin, to the eye, and to the sucker. So these are data here and this side here, it's what you've introduced. Everything else was estimated and calculated by the tool. So you have the BMI again, as before, the BMI class, 
and the height, uh, but also you have in this case you have the lousy, which is the lumpfish operational welfare score index, which was exactly what you mentioned that varies between zero and ten. In this case, you know this one is eight, so it has a good welfare, but the opposite end here, which we have, uh, there is a really poor welfare here because it's a, a score below uh, four. And then it also gives you a summary. It gives you a summary of the, the mean lousy, the mean, the mean uh, number from 0 to 10 of your population. In this case, it was 7, so moderately compromised. But then when you look at the entire population, you actually see, wow, over more than half, they are moderately compromised. It will also give you the body max index. Okay, uh, in this case, the overall of, of your lumpfish, they seem to be underweight. But actually, if you look at this, 50% are emaciated. So in this case, this is an extreme case of poor welfare, severely compromised, and therefore there is a series of recommendations here for you to take in consideration. And the tool will tell you this automatically. So why should you measure lumpfish welfare? Well, uh, begin to begin with, because welfare matters, welfare is important, but also because a healthy, well-fed lumpfish is more able to forage for lice than a weak and fed specimen with compromised welfare. So I hope this uh, video tutorial was useful and in the next videos I will explain exactly how to download the software for your desktop and how to use each individual um, section of this tool, you know, the online course, the BMI calculator, how do you download the Excel files, how do you upload and above all how do you uh, make a judgment of what the, the software is telling you, but also for the rapid welfare assessment tool. So I hope it is useful and please check the following videos.